let us discuss the various dashboard warning lights, with their purposes, and, required measures that need to be taken. Let's get into the video. Dashboard warning lights are displayed in different colors, which usually denote, how serious the problem is. Yellow and orange warning lights, are usually the least urgent. And, red warning lights are more serious, and needs immediate attention. Number 1, Check Engine Warning Light. If this warning light illuminates, there was a problem with engine management system, or problem in engine parts. Engine management system includes various sensors, such as cam position sensor, crank position sensor, mass air pressure sensor and many more. These sensors sense timely signals to the engine control unit. If these sensors fails, or the wiring connectivity of the sensors fails, the engine control module cannot receive signals. And thus the performance of the engine varies, and sometimes engine may not even start. There are many mechanical parts, working inside an engine. And some of these sensors monitors the engine's mechanical parts. If any mechanical failures, or drop in performance, or problem in any part of the engine occurs. Immediately the sensors detects the problem, and sends signal to the engine control unit. And thus the check engine light illuminates to notify the driver. So the driver need to seek the help of a mechanic, and diagnose the problem with a scan tool, to find the exact problem occurred. Sometimes the check engine light glows in red color. At this time, the driver should immediately stop the vehicle, and the problem should be checked, before starting again the vehicle. This saves from further damage of the vehicle. Number 2. Battery Warning Light The electrical energy stored in the battery, is used to start, and run the engine of a car, and to operate the accessories of a car. For this, a continuous power supply is required, to recharge the battery, when it is discharged. The alternator creates electrical power, to recharge the battery. The alternator is connected to the engine's crankshaft through a belt. And it generates electricity, when it is rotated with the engine. Now it sends power to the accessories, and also recharges the battery. If your battery warning light comes on, it means that your battery is no longer being charged by the alternator, and is running only on its own charge. That means that your car is only running on battery power, that will eventually run out. This stops your car from running. This may be due to, faulty alternator, damaged drive belt, damaged connecting wires or relays, or, as simple as a faulty battery itself. This problem can be solved by checking wiring connections, servicing alternator parts, or replacing the battery. Number 3. Engine Temperature Warning Light The engine temperature warning light indicates an overheating of the engine. When the engine is running, it produces a lot of heat and must be cooled continuously, to avoid engine damage. Generally this is done by circulating coolant liquid. The water pump circulates the coolant liquid, from engine passages to the radiator. When the radiator receives the coolant, it cools down the coolant liquid, with the help of its fin structure. And cooling fan, pushes the heat outside, and sends back the cooled liquid to the engine. And this process repeats. When the engine temperature warning light illuminates, there must be a problem in the cooling system. The mechanic, should check for leakages of coolant. From damaged radiator. Damaged hoses or pipes. Damaged thermostat valve. Or damaged water pump. Or faulty cooling fan. If this happens the temperature cannot be controlled by cooling system. And thus the temperature sensor, senses the overheat. And sends signals to the engine control unit. And then temperature warning light illuminates, to notify the driver. 
Number 4. Airbag Malfunction Warning Light There are four main components in airbag system. 1. Impact Sensor 2. Airbag Inflator 3. Airbag Module and 4. Clock Spring At the time of collision, the impact sensor which is located behind the front bumper sends signal to the airbag module within milliseconds. The module sends signal to the inflator and the inflator inflates the airbag. If any component of this system fails, the airbag may not function properly. So the airbag warning light illuminates. The mechanic should check for faulty sensors or improper wiring connections or faulty airbag module or faulty airbag inflator or the faulty clock spring located inside the steering wheel. Number 5. Anti-lock braking system malfunction warning light. In this ABS system, the brakes are applied and released numerous times, in one second, and hence, the system ensures that the wheels do not lock up, under hard braking. The vehicle slows down while maintaining its grip, and the available traction allows the driver, to give steering inputs. This helps the driver steer the vehicle, to avoid an accident. Causes of warning light Number 1. Brake Master Cylinder, which is located behind the brake pedal. If it leaks the hydraulic oil in this system, the brakes will not work properly. Number 2. ABS Pump and Valves Unit, which distributes the hydraulic pressure to the brakes. If it leaks hydraulic oil, the brakes cannot function properly. Number 3. Brake Caliper, which is located on the disc rotors. If it leaks the hydraulic oil, the brakes cannot work properly. Number 4. Wheel Speed Sensor. It is located behind the disc rotors and brake caliper. If it is damaged, it cannot send the rotation speed of the wheel to the ABS control unit. So the brakes cannot function properly. Number 5. As simple as the disc rotors and brake pads get worn out fully. Finding out the problem occurred, and rectifying it will remove the warning light, and brakes function normally. Number 6. Power Steering Warning Light. This illuminates when a problem is detected with the steering. There are two types of power steering. 1. Hydraulic Power Steering. 2. Electronic Power Steering. Hydraulic steering uses hydraulic oil to turn the steering. A hydraulic pump is connected to the engine through a belt. This pump pumps the hydraulic oil to the steering rack, and thus, the turn would be easier. If any leakage in hydraulic pump, or leakage in connecting pipes, or leakages in steering box would stop the working of power steering. In electronic type power steering, an electric motor is connected to the steering box. This motor drives, to turn the steering. If any damage occurred in sensors used in this system, or damages in electric motor, would stop the working of power steering. So the warning light blows to notify the driver. Number 7. Glow Plug Warning Light. Diesel engines are equipped with glow plugs, which are designed, to heat up the combustion chamber, and assist with starting the engine when it's cold. It takes a few seconds for glow plugs to sufficiently warm up the engine air temperature, and they shut off once it is hot enough. The amber glow plug light, a squiggle with two loops, illuminates to show that the glow plugs are warming up. The light turns off once the engine is ready to start. If the glow plug light blinks or remains on, this indicates that there may be a problem with this system and the vehicle may be difficult to start. A mechanic should check for a blown glow plug or the electrical connections to rectify the problem. Number 8. Immobilizer Warning Light This is the vehicle security system, which stores the set of unique codes for the particular vehicle. The same code is registered to the given key fob of the car. This ensures the correct key fob is entered to start the vehicle. If wrong key fob is inserted, or the registered security code fails to function, the car may not start, and this warning light illuminates. 
Number 9. Engine Oil Pressure Warning Light. It signifies that oil is not circulating properly through the engine. This is a major issue, because insufficient oil pressure, can cause an engine to wear prematurely, or even seize up. Common reasons for low oil pressure includes low oil levels, a water oil pump, and other worn internal components. It's a good idea to check the engine oil level regularly and change the oil at the manufacturer's specified intervals. Number 10. Tire Pressure Warning Light. This warning light signifies that one of the vehicle's tires is underinflated. And, in some modern vehicles, it can indicate which exact tire has low pressure. Driving with a flat or underinflated tire is unsafe, as it can drastically alter the vehicle's handling. Common reasons for this light to turn on include a puncture, a faulty tire pressure sensor, as well as seasonal temperature changes which can cause a tire to lose pressure gradually. We completed discussing about warning lights. Please subscribe our channel for more engineering content. Thank you.